Hi, this tutorial is going to show you how you can remove the hotspot off of the face of your subjects. Uh, first thing you need to do is duplicate your background layer. This is just in case you need to redo this or you really want to see where you ended up after you started this process. So from there, you want to select your clone stamp tool. You want to go up to the mode menu in the control panel here up top and you want to make sure that the mode is set to darken. You want to make sure that the opacity is set as something low, either 20, 25, 30, something in that range to start with. Now, when uh, actually also going over to the right, you want to make sure that a line sample is not uh, checked. This will um, keep your source from following you, so to speak. So now I have my clone stamp tool. I have my paintbrush. Uh, what you want to do is select a source that you will use to fill in. Now, because the tones are going to change as you move around the faces, you're going to select different sources. So I wouldn't select a source from over here by option or alt clicking that I would eventually use to paint over here. So my source selected from here is going to work toward removing the hot spot from these areas here. This process is a little time consuming because you have to make subtle changes. If you do this too harshly or too quickly, it will really look fake and you want this to look as good as possible. So what I'm going to do is again, alt or option click my source and paint in the hot spots to paint over them. And I'm going to do most of this off screen because this is going to take a while and I'll come back and show you the end result. Okay, so I'm down here at the end of my tutorial. I'm going to alt option click down here on the chin and paint over this to remove the hot spot. So going back to my layers panel, this is what I started with and doing this technique, this is what I end with. So you see it's a very subtle change, but you can remove the hot spots from the face of your subject. Hope this helps.